Testing one, two, three. Can anybody hear me if I shed the Hi, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use the stitching actions. These actions are for Photoshop CS only. Um, I have tested from CS4 and up, but I believe they really should work on any version of um, CS. I'm really sorry, I tried very hard to get it to work for Elements, but it is just not being cooperative, so uh, hopefully in the future I'll be able to, to figure that out. The first thing you need to do is to load your actions, your styles, and your brushes, which are included in the download file. Um, it is super duper important that you do this, otherwise it's not going to work. So, as you see, I have my stitching and a little stitching hole brush. I have my stitching and hole styles, and I have my four stitching actions. The first action is for text. Basically, this will allow you to create a stitched alpha um, very, very simply. I'm just going to do a few letters, like A, B, and I'm going to just pick a color. Now, if you're going to add a style to this that's totally going to change it, don't worry so much about the colors, but if you are going to just um, keep the color as is, you know, you would do that now. So let me, why did I make it like that? I'm such a dork. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so I'm going to hit play. The first thing it's going to ask me is to make sure my foreground color is the color I'd like my stitching to be. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to pick a color for the stitching. I'm going to go with the pink because pink is my favorite color, as you know by now. So I'm going to hit play. Now it's going to ask me to make my foreground color the color I would like the edging to be. So I'm going to make it the same color as the inner part. So I'm going to stop, select that color from the inside, and push play. And that's it. I'm done. Uh, then I could add a style to the white part at the background. Let's say if I wanted it to be like felt, it would work like that. So that would be the stitching with the felt style. Let me zoom in so you can see how the stitching looks. Now, um, after the actions run, the stitching, the whole um, layers, they're all still there. So you can just turn them off. If you don't like the whole layer, you can turn that one off. I wouldn't turn off the stitching layer considering. And you can turn off the, um, the background layer and just have it be a stitched, you know, alpha. That's totally cool too. So that is how it works with text layers. So if you're going to work with a text layer, make sure you use mommyish text stitching action. All right, the next is for vector shapes. I'm going to go with a shape from Just Jamie. I'm going to turn this to be a tealy color. You can probably tell I really like teal. <laughs> teal and pink are like my favorite colors. Of course, I didn't even turn the shape that color because I'm lame. All right, I'm going to go with that. All right, I'm going to hit play. Now, it's going to ask me again to make the foreground color the color I want the stitching. I already set it to a white-ish color, so here we go. I'm going to hit continue. Now I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to choose the outer color, and I'm actually going to make this like a lighter tone of that. Hit play, and it says to add whatever style I want, whatever to it. Now I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to show you how it looks with a leather style that I have in my store. I really like how the leather styles look with the stitching. I think it looks so neat. So that's how that looks. Next on our list are, is the action for already rasterized um, shapes. So how that works is anytime that you have a shape that's like a PNG file or whatever, it's already rasterized. So this is a rasterized layer. Um, and I'm just going to hit play. It's going to ask me to change the color of my stitching if I want to, uh, and I do. I want to. I'm going to go with like a gray. Hit play. It'll ask me about the edging, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to go with the same color this time and hit play again. And there we have it. It's done. Um, I'm going to, this time for this one, I'm going to apply like a puffy fabric style to it, and that's how that would look. Um, and again, you can always turn that off and just go with the stitching if you wanted. All right. The last one that I have of the actions is the rasterized shape inner stitching. 
So basically you could use this on any rasterized shape. If you don't want it to add the outer edge, but you want it to go on the inside, you would use this. I'm gonna use it on an already made element from my iHeart Home Kit. Um, and I'm just gonna hit play and we'll go from there. All right, it says to make sure the foreground color is the color I want it to be. So I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna pick, I think I'm gonna pick like the aqua color, it's pretty. I'm gonna hit play. All right, and hit continue and it's done. So that added a stitching layer to this element, which I think is pretty darn cool. <laughs> so there it is again without, there's the element. It's grouped together. Whenever you finish, you would just merge the layers together and you know, add a shadow or something to it and call it good. And that's it. That's how the actions work. Uh, if you need any reference, this YouTube tutorial, you can always watch it again. Or in the uh, folder is a uh, PDF file with instructions as well. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.